You are watching or listening to Light Up Pichwa. These are the short clips from the complete interviews. If you want to watch full episodes, please go to the website or the channel Light Up Pichwa and enjoy. Assalamu alaikum. Greetings, Samira. Wa alaikum assalam. Greetings from Pakistan. <laughs> oh yes. And you so are in Pakistan, Lahore, Pakistan, a long way, about 10 hours of our difference. Yeah. And I am honored that uh, you have taken out time and thank you very much for My being pleasure. here. Thank you. My pleasure. So I am sure people will enjoy our conversation. My name is Samira Mumtaz and um, I have uh, a degree in uh, English literature. And uh, I've uh, been recently teaching at uh, Punjab University to graduate and postgraduate levels. Okay. I'm also a mother of three kids, a single mother uh, of three kids aged 10, 8 and 6. And apart from that, I, uh, I love traveling and I write for myself. When I travel in spring, I can see that rebirth or hope is a creative conscious process it's a creative process and as a human it's a conscious process so to live a life of positivity requires a conscious effort excellent good yeah. thank you so what have you learned about relationships uh, like how do you then maintain relationships or can you advise something uh, hmm. out of what you have been through that how to value them or how to maintain them because when you have everything you know you're okay when you don't have it you have a different approach so a combination of that if you can share something um and when you say relationships i'm going to yeah you'll talk first about, about friends about, and uh, yeah you can talk about friends but first uh, give me a little bit about uh, married relationship Yes. Like, what um, really do you miss about being with your partner or, you know, what? I miss, yeah. uh, as much as I miss the fights, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I still feel that I wish we didn't waste so much time on petty issues. When I look back, and we had seven years of marriage. Mm. I um, it was going to be eight in November. Yes, mm. almost seven and a half years of marriage. Mm. I immediately after that, I was like, and I still say that life is too short, mm. and we tend to waste our energies and our minds on the pettiest of issues. Have a bigger heart. I've realized I need to have a bigger heart. Um, to understand what the other person is also going through and to value the present, the current moment. That is extremely important. Uh, I now. don't see my purpose as some career or okay. I don't see my purpose as okay. gaining any kind of wealth or uh, anything, making uh, a fortune. Uh, my purpose is to spend the rest of the little life that I have with positivity with some good meaning and try to, as I said, greedily try to grasp all the positivity and the happiness that it brings to me uh. with the understanding that, like you said, there are going to be tests, there are going to be falls. I am prepared. I, no one is actually prepared for no. that, but yeah. you are, you know that it's not just a very, you know, rosy journey and for some it is for some it isn't but um, there are smaller tests larger tests tests are waiting there uh -huh. but I would still amidst all of that madness uh -huh. which is called life uh -huh. I would still my purpose is to remain sane and positive uh -huh. and be a, be a light for my children uh -huh. any message of hope it's the same that when life throws you lemons, don't make lemonade. Just throw the lemons back at life because you are not bound to catch them. It's easier said than done. I know even I've been in situations where my friends have reminded me, look, you said this thing and uh, you're not, you know, do it then. Why don't you throw the lemon back? And, 
it's it's uh, it's a process it's a process it just not cannot happen overnight mm. but it's a process you and it takes effort it's a struggle which i feel that even the people around you need to respect and understand that it's a process and then you can come out of it and um there you know just like i said that birthing is a process creating even god when he has to create something it is a process yeah. so hope going towards that it's you will never be able to achieve complete happiness in your life you'll have to collect those moments and that is a process nevertheless it has to come from you and you alone good thank you uh my name is rachel agara and i am a speech and language therapist Uh, my I interest, was right. I was right. Yeah, <laughs> you got it right. <laughs> um, my interest is in early language development and specifically bilingual language development, or even multilingual language development. So um, I studied at a few different universities mm. to get to the place where I am today, mm. and I continue to have fun watching kids learn languages and hopefully more than one. So in the United States, we definitely have speakers who use multiple languages. Our our most recent census data shows about 350 different languages spoken in the United States. Okay. But I think we have the best grasp of what it looks like to learn English in the United mm. States. I grew up speaking only English. Okay. I learned my first additional language when I was 18 years old. Hmm. And which was Spanish. Spanish. Okay. Yeah, so you're Spanish. Uh, Spanish. <laughs> uh, I'm not fluent like a native speaker, okay. I, but I use it daily for my work okay. and I enjoy using Spanish. Okay. And what yeah. other languages do you speak? So I'm also learning Gujarati, which mm-hmm. is a language from my husband's family. Mm-hmm. So can you say that I am uh, happy to be here in Spanish? Uh, sí, estoy muy feliz de estar aquí con usted. That was long. Okay. Probably like a lot of other people do. I'm not sure that I have it all figured out necessarily, <laughs> but I try to I feel like when children are young, they probably need a little bit more parenting and a little bit more support. So within our family, we've made those adjustments to make sure that there's someone available. I certainly grew up with having not only my parents but my extended family available. So that's important that's for nice. me in parenting is to know that I'm available to them, but so is the rest of the mm-hmm. family. Available means what? Um, so how do you spend your time with them? How do I spend my time? Oh, a lot of it is uh, I have two sons and they're two different people. Mm. So it really depends on what their interests are. I mm. think sometimes one of them really loves to bake with me and mm. I love to do baking. It mm. makes me feel like I've accomplished something at the end of the task. Um another one is uh really interested in reading. So mm. sometimes we get together and we do a lot of nighttime reading. I think that's probably one of my favorite things with them mm. is nighttime reading. Mm. Uh, any other parent who hears me say this will understand that once you have more than one child your time commitments <laughs> change and your availability changes um and we sort of shifted to the language that was most available within the family and the mm. one that they might identify with the most so we mm. put some more emphasis on Gujarati language okay how did you feel when you were growing up with your parents mm. I- I think I had a very happy childhood. You did. You? I okay. felt very safe. I felt like we had everything we needed. Uh-huh. Um, so it was that's nice. a blessing. Yeah. That's a blessing. Absolutely. So I'm sure that that's what you give to your child. Children. I hope so. Yeah. I uh-huh. hope so. I think I'm happy in all the roles that I get oh, to play really? in my life right now. Which role do you do not like? Mm. Or or prefer less, let's put it this way. I think whichever one is making me feel the most stress at the moment. You know, if mm. if so it my, changes. Yeah. If okay. if if someone in my family is sick, then I feel a little bit more stress about that situation mm. or if there's something that I need to get done for work and and I know I have to put everything else aside, then maybe that becomes a little more difficult balance. Mm. What is the purpose of your life? Oh, well, I am not 100% sure and I think it probably has changed over time for okay. me. Okay. Okay. Um I think in general it's it's to be part of what's going on around me and mm. to make the best contributions that I can. Okay. So now that I realize that you're more scientific, do you believe in afterlife? <laughs> I believe. 
Yeah. yeah, in some ways, but maybe not in the same vocabulary, in the same way that other people may believe about mm -hmm. it. I believe that there is a continuation of of our energy, of our thoughts, of our feelings. Mm -hmm. I think that um, my, I still have memories of people who are not here, mm -hmm. and I believe that's uh, I believe that's an important continuation of the people who are not here now. So that is, hmm. that's satisfying for me, at least in my individual faith, to know that if I, can, if I can do right by someone now, then that contribution might last longer than my physical being here. Hmm. Nice. So I try. <laughs> Good. Uh, any message of hope that would you like, what, that you would like to give? Oh, I'm not sure. <laughs> um, what would you say to your children? What would I say to my children? That, that they're very loved, that, mm. the, that they're here because people wanted them to be here, mm. and that we have, we're giving them the best that we have, and we mm. hope that they would continue that. Mm. What lights you up? What lights me up? Oh, what do I like? Whenever I think of dancing, I feel pretty happy. Oh. I don't get to do it necessarily I, it, a lot, but mm. it makes me think of um, makes me think of fun from my childhood. It makes me think of meeting my husband. It makes mm -hmm. me think of times that I get to spend with my kids. I enjoy that. So do you dance uh, regularly or no? Uh, well, not uh, as much as you said. Yeah, yeah. Uh, when we but turn on like the radio. I just any, enjoy any it. Any specific dance? Um, all of the above. I okay. like to move. <laughs> okay. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for being here. Mm -hmm. Hope you enjoyed listening or watching to Samira Mumtaz and Rachel Agara. These were the short clips. For complete episodes, please visit the website or the channel Light Up Ichwa. Thank you.